Hi, I'm Cam and welcome to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. Hi everyone, my home tour video is finally ready. I'm really excited about sharing and showing you inside my home, particularly as I've actually redecorated. Now, whenever I went to try and film this video for you, something happened, including a really bad hailstorm when my house got pretty badly damaged. Anyway, this video is finally ready, so make sure you are subscribed because I'll be publishing a second video where I share with you all the clever things that I did to decorate my home on a budget where I bought things and all sorts of little clever tricks and hacks that I did to help share the love in my home. So make sure you're subscribed. Welcome to my home. <laughs> so the camellia tree is one of the special things about this home. It only comes out in about August, but the camellia tree, as we know, is the flower for Chanel and it flowers for about a month, but all these beautiful pink petals just are showered all over the ground and it's just something that makes the home really elegant. All right, so the one thing you'll notice about my home is I like to keep it tidy and organized. I like surfaces to be clean because when my home is messy and full of clutter, I feel anxious, I can't think straight, and I feel really overwhelmed. So this is one of the ways I manage my stress. So first up are my Chanel Little Back Jacket um, posters. Now, I actually got given these when I went to the Chanel Little Back Jacket exhibition. I went on the last day and they were actually handing these out for free to anyone that was good there. So whilst I don't like my surfaces being cluttered, I still want to decorate my home. So to keep it nice and simple and uplifting, I try and decorate with flowers, candles and a few photo frames and even a couple of touches of coral because I'm a water baby. I'm a cancer star sign and I love being down by the beach. All right, so the other exception to color in my home is Rocco's art art that he makes for me he's so creative and he just gets into this zone where he just like can spend hours and hours drawing and coloring in and using sticky tape and glue and sequins so whenever he makes me something new i put it up here and i love to look at it Okay, so come and see where we love to entertain. Tom and I absolutely love to entertain. It's so nice in summertime sitting in the backyard with a glass of wine and a cheese plate. And we've often had many dinner parties back here. The latest addition to my home is this lovely motorbike. This is actually Tom's push present to himself because that's what you like to do when you have your first child is go and get a motorbike. Also, we have outdoor heating, so even when it's colder, we can flick this on and still entertain our friends and stay nice and cozy. Now, I definitely do not have a green thumb. However, these plants just never seem to die. They have just re-sprouted and come back to life. And my dad actually planted them for me. I begged him for white ones. However, he insisted that we had to have red, but they're doing really well and I'm just surprised I haven't killed them. All right, so this is my herb garden. This is my project for spring. I'm intending on removing all these dead plants and putting in a whole new herb garden. And I'm really going to make sure I take much better care of this because it's a really cost effective way of making beautiful meals without any wastage.
So you'll notice with this house, there's not much color. It's all fairly neutral and lots of whites. And that's because I like a clean, fresh palette. However, inside this room, it's quite different. All right, come and have a look upstairs. So this is Rocco's room, which I decorated myself. And I put so much thought and time into picking all the things that he absolutely loves, which is kind of ironic because he never actually sleeps in here. He always ends up sleeping in the bed with Tom and I, but come and have a look inside. So when Rocco was a baby, I actually decorated the room with a safari theme with lots of lions and leopards and hippos and elephants and rhinoceroses because I wanted to make sure it was kind of neutral when it came to decorating the room. But as his personality developed and became more boyish, I started to bring in more of the trucks and toys and cars, things that he loves. Rocco is learning how to read at the moment and one of his absolute favorite books is this one. I think I have read it to him about 5,000 times. He always grabs this one. It's The Curious Case of the Missing Mammoth. He loves it and he has to read every single page, open up every single little section. I can't ever go fast or try and skip over a few sections because he catches me out. But yeah, definitely one of his favorite books and he's also going through that dinosaur phase. So this is the bathroom. Now, I'm actually really proud of this bathroom because I designed it myself. Originally, when I bought the house, um, the bathroom was really old and really gross, but I completely redesigned it and reconfigured it. And the builder um, put it all together and really utilized the space by having shelves in here, hidden away behind mirrors, keeping an open shower space, um, storage for linens in here. All right, so these nine prints are actually photographs um, by Slim Ahrens, who is a famous 1960s lifestyle photographer. I am obsessed with the 60s. I love the era, I love the elegance, I love how chic and timeless everything was. So for me, these are probably one of my favorite pieces in the house. Now, I bought these, I think about 14 or 15 years ago. I had them in my previous homes and I just love them. I love that they're from all different parts of the world. And the funny thing was I actually discovered that they're not real prints, they're actually cutouts from magazines. And this is where I work from home. For me, this is a space that is purely mine. No one's really allowed in here without my permission because this is where I come to switch off to get stuff done, to work on my passion projects, and it's kind of like sacred space for me. Again, I like to keep my surfaces really clean and clear so I can really focus and get a lot of stuff done and use the most of my spare time efficiently. Now, I actually got this in New York when I was on a girl's trip for a week and it almost broke my back trying to get this out of the country. I had all my suitcases and I had to go and quickly pick this up. The only time Rocco is actually allowed in here without me being here is to put his pocket money away. He gets a dollar per week for feeding the dogs morning and night. And he comes in here and puts it safely in his Kinder Surprise money box. Now when this is full, we'll go to the bank together, weigh it out, see how much is in there. And he can decide to either go and spend it or he can put it in his own little investment portfolio. And when Apple was born, her uncle and aunt bought her this really cute money box. So when the timing is right, she can start earning pocket money as well. And she can decide how she wants to spend, save and invest her own pocket money. All right, so this is where we all sleep and Apple is actually sleeping right now. So for me, having a really clean, calm bedroom is essential for a good night's sleep. 
I have really bad sleep hygiene and often am awake between 1.30 and 4.30. So by keeping it really neat and organized really makes a big difference for me. At the moment, Rocco is really into reading, loves reading in bed. So at the moment, Tom has a growing collection of kids' books on his side of the table. Whereas mine, I like to keep as bare as possible. So you know how I said I'm a little bit obsessed with redecorating surfaces? Well, recently I just did my bedroom and I wanted to look at balance and harmony. So I went with a dark, light, dark, light combination to help create that balance, that yin and yang in my life. So now you've seen inside my home where we eat, where we sleep, where we laugh together. Make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to share and show you all the things I did to redecorate. Making sure that I stay within a budget. I buy things that I absolutely love, even the few investment pieces. And of course, how and where I save money. And as I said, you're going to be really surprised at all the little clever tricks I discovered.